あれおおおあまあ Hello everyone Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase In this presentation we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the first half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners Okay Let's get into some headlines. So first half. Define first half, because we're in February. Oh. Grounded? Get ready right? to embark on an enormous adventure of pint-sized proportions. Was this not a switch already? Being shrunken down at the hands well, not, of the I thought it was on the switch. Song uh, consoles already. Explore a vast, immersive world right in your own backyard. Anywho, miss me playing that because I ain't fucking getting near no bugs. With up to three friends, or take on the it was an Xbox solo. exclusive? Gather resources to build your base and well, not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Fuck you, Microsoft people, I survival. guess. Use the tools you craft to forage plant life, but watch out. You aren't alone out there. Work your way through the campaign to uncover the mysteries of Dos. the backyard. Dos. Or build, share, and play your own creations in Playground. Enjoy your lurk, Camilla. You and thank you, Mama, for the sub. In this minuscule world and fend off its creepy, crawly inhabitants? Go big or never go home when Grounded launches on the Nintendo Switch system April 16th. That's a two months, I guess. I guess it's when you wanted to play Grounded, but they had a Switch. Unfolds in this return to the Ender Lily's world. This once flourishing country sits atop a wealth of buried magic. Homunculi, artificial life forms created as the country flourished, were this meant to bring about a future. Ender Magnolia, bloom in the mist. As Lilac, you'll reluctantly bond with and journey alongside a homunculus who played a pivotal role in the country's demise. What? No, what? What, what the fuck? When the magic buried beneath the surface became corrupted. Is this like another, um, what's the genre called? What's, what is this genre called now? But those who lack like power and wealth a storytelling platformer? Is that the best way of putting it? Like an Ori? Like a Shovel Knight? Like... Oh, you walk around the area, you fight enemies. The map in the top corner is again giving much like. Will join you on your adventure, becoming your companions and lending their aid. Excuse me. What awaits life? Astral chain. The homunculi at the end of their journey. Find out when Ender Magnolia that... bloom in the mist. Launch. I mean, it looks cool. No date, even though it's supposed to be the first half of the year. Um, Metro is that really a Metrovania type? Are they really considered those? Like an Ori, and like those are considered Metrovanias? I guess I played Metrovanias more than I thought I did. Punches on Nintendo Switch this year. It's your adventure, your way in these Nintendo Switch games. Explore an interconnected world of puzzles in this charming adventure. Oh, bitch, you want me to think? Slide across rows and columns on a sprawling gameplay grid where everything moves when you move. Solve Do you know who I... Out into the wilderness, ...helping out the townsfolk, and taking down monsters in handcrafted dungeons. What awaits you on this curious journey of self-discovery? The world is yours to solve in a ranger, a role puzzling adventure, sliding onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Bitch, what the fuck? A young prince on a journey to liberate five No, no, you can't teach. You can't. You, you will not trick me again. Form your strategy, then unleash your army on the opposing Zenoiran forces. Your real time strategy planning will turn the tide of war. During battle, you may get to recruit new Hello? Weapons, oh, sorry. Face with difficult decisions. Executor. And Vanillaware presents Unicorn Overlord. Launching well, Vanillaware. Wait. A demo will what game did Vanillaware make? On Nintendo oh. Isha. Originally released on the Nintendo 3DS system, the first Monster Hunter Stories game returns. Now fully voiced and in HD. As a writer, 
Let's go, Monster Hunter people! What the fuck is this? Many familiar monsters from across the Monster Hunter stories? You can browse what? Is this a thing? Take flight in Monster Hunter stories. Soaring onto the Nintendo Switch Bitch, isn't that Drag? Here's a Drag Quest monster, almost. March 25th. If that's actually the release date, that's a really fucking good drop. It's an RPG Monster Hunter. I, I mean, technically, isn't Monster Hunter itself an RPG? A curious Mickey creates a mess. And becomes trapped in a magical wasteland inhabited by forgotten and rejected characters. So, Epic Mickey. The platforming adventure. Epic Mickey returns in a faithful remake of the beloved classic. I was say, it's the first one. Explore this unusual dimension using the magic brush to shape the world. So, a remaster of Epic Mickey number one. Oh! Uh, Disney Epic Mickey rebrushed launches on Nintendo Switch this Oh my god, I thought I heard the song from Clicking Hearts on the screen. Now, my THQ? I don't want to be going. Atlas. Oh man, it's Persona. Let's go, Persona. Shin Megami, what? <laughs> I'm afraid Tokyo experienced its own peculiar occurrence. Hey, is this is this Persona 2? Ah, uh, you Atlas, you silly billies. I haven't heard much about this game outside of its release. Everyone was hyping it up. People are playing it, and I heard nothing again since. Who is she? So SMT 5's gets DLC basically, that's what I'm being told. Yeah, it's SMT 5. Okay, the music though is kind of a bopping. Enter or return. Yeah, just starting up the hang games I played once, like DDDDD or Retro Quest, which I played before adventure. I learned English. Don't ask how. Let's take a look at some more headlines. <laughs> I mean VVV is you don't need English for it. Just in these right? Nintendo Switch games. Yeah, you don't need that to. Fight in iconic battles from across Shut the fuck up. Wars Galaxy, Shut the fuck up. Of two <laughs> games. Up to 64 players can strike back against familiar faces. Shut the fuck up. Online battles. Shut the fuck up. This collection includes additional playable characters such as Kit Fisto and additional maps like Jabba's Palace. Plus, battle as your favorite heroes or villains in Hero Assault. Play as Luke Skywalker, me. Darth Vader, and more. On maps including Death Star and Naboo. And Naboo. <laughs> Battlefront Classic Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo Wii Shop. Come on, it's a snow game. Come on, butter. Let's go dance. Snow butter. That was a high go Sorry, I just I said it's high earlier. I was sitting in my brain. <laughs> No, it's fine. It's gonna be online, so you just gotta have a sure you have good connection, and then all that switch. Um. <laughs> this game confuses me because I think it's supposed to be in the same universe as Fractured Butthole and A Stick of Truth. But yeah, it's also online. Like. It's supposed to be in the same universe as that game, but it's also online. Because they should be like, oh, hey, new kid! Look at that now! Sharpen your steel for the latest entry in the Sword Art Online series. Bye! 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 The virtual world goes haywire. The past. I'm gonna say, ooh, what the fuck is this? A movie pops up. Sword Art Online. Can't have anything fucking good. 
we can't we can't have anything to save the world experience a whole new single player story or take the battle online with up to 20 the game we can't have nothing what is going what is going on with this ui oh my god Choose from over 250 base kits. Oh, Gundam fans. Reading. Gundam fan? Eh, eh, eh. Then put your creation to the test in a variety of combat missions. Eh. And acquiring new parts, you can equip more abilities to craft the ultimate gun plug. Oh, hi, Jay May. Show off your builds. Welcome in. As we see Gundam, dum, 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 dum. Gundam Breaker 4 launches on Nintendo Switch. This year. Yo, yeah, you already told us this year. Let's get down to Monkey Bitch. Who the fuck is it? Who is it? Is that? The newest entry in the Super Monkey Bitch rolls onto Nintendo Switch. Go! New? Over 200 brand new Has stages an... await with optional motion controls. Using the new Spin Dash move, you can blast over obstacles and create shortcuts to victory. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Monkey Ball gets a new I a game entry, and not just another remaster or remake. Up to 16 players can battle online as they tilt their way to be the top banana. Be the first to the finish line in race. Mode. That's chaos. Oh, that's chaos, and I love it. Falling bananas in banana hunt. Team up to take down robots in Robot Smash and more. I actually kind of love the I kind of love the chaos of that one. <laughs> Sixteen players online can just race in Monkey Ball, bitch. That's gonna end horribly for everyone. What do you mean? <laughs> June twenty fifth. That's cutting it very close to the first half of the year. By the way, I want to point that out there. Get ready for a good time. It's liquidy. You know, they announced this at, I think it was the Game Award? I think it was Game Awards. And, use it to build strategic structures. and like, this is insane to me, because I forgot this game existed. I think we all forgot this game existed. And then they were like, Goo 2, kids! Like, what the fuck do you mean, Goo 2? It's been over, like, a decade since Goo got any representation anywhere. And now all of a sudden you get goo too back. This is how you know people who like who played these games growing up are now the people making games. Cause like they're going back to franchises they're like guys goo. Guys, that was one of my favorite games growing up. World of Goo. Nintendo Switch May 23rd. Build a life. Transcending time. That was a lot to take in. One thousand years in the making, in a brand new fantasy life game. Oh, fantasy life. Oh, okay, this I was like, what the fuck is this? Island in the seas of Herbaria now stands deserted. Anywho, um. Travel to the island's past to gather resources. <laughs> and use them to the island in the present. You'll start out by assuming one of many different roles called lives. Why not become a miner to collect ore? Some what? How about a magician to take down monsters? Or even a carpet? Is it online play or is it single play? You can That's the question. Between these lives and many more as you rebuild the island. Because if it's online play, I can see, I can see, you know, like a pull for this. Because like new playing with your friends. Additionally, up to four players can okay, so it is online. online. Okay. Invite friends to the island. Okay, then it has some rights. Okay. Secrets that lie in store. This life is yours to live in. Fantasy Life I, the girl, the girl who steals, steals time. time. Launching on Nintendo Switch October Pretty sure the DS 10. one had online. It's <laughs> time to hunt for, uh, trash? The world these days is dark. All right, no, I think it did because when people when they announced the, the closing of DS Online, everyone was sad, and that was one of the games mentioned. The ocean is outside this reef. 
Scour the depths of a polluted undersea world in this souls like adventure. Souls like? You can go get that treasure there, John. Excuse me. Protect yourself with whatever you can find, from cans to cardboard, during your hunt to reclaim your prized shell. It would appear the hunt is on, I say. Souls like? Trying to get my old life back. But you'll run into a few crabby predators along the way. Oh, listen, I don't play Souls games, but I play this. <laughs> Use over 60 ability granting shells and harness powerful umami magic to take umami? in frenetic deep sea combat. What other threats lie in the ocean depths? <laughs> yeah, crab souls like <laughs> what's say, wrong? One crab's trash is another crab's, other crab's treasure. treasure. In two months. Wow. Um Pulse of high Ash. Um, what are you talking about? This is an illusion. We'll have you dashing, dropping, and drilling. Drilling. Drill! Join Penny and oh. Yo Yo in a brand new Oh right, this game. From the team yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. I forgot they announced this game before. Levels across eleven vibrant worlds, all while outrunning a massive penguin army and a colorful cast of bosses. Feast on power ups. I mean, it looks cool. And it's made by the team of Sonic Mania, so like everyone loves it. Put your tricks to the test in a time attack mode. Hope you're ready to yo, because Penny's big breakaway launches on Nintendo Switch today. Huh? I love. Excuse me. How much? Local so, no, you, no, you can't just announce it drops today and and then just not say a price, so everyone knows. Can, can, and for what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, this mobile game. Weird. Um. What are you talking about? I'm not, again. I'm not even live. And, what a peach? Plus, online multiplayer will be added to the DLC in the future. Get battling when this paid DLC for Suica game drops onto the Nintendo Switch. When the paid the DLC game. for Suica game, a that is a funny ass phrase to say. <laughs> the paid DLC for Suica game. Gear up for some thrilling drilling in the 2D action platformer Pepper Grinder. Developer, D digital, d d digital, 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 digital. What? Roll over digital and ride on gnarly vehicles to recover your missing fortune. Pepper Grinder drills its way onto Nintendo Switch March 28th. A demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Spartan, this is one of your games. I'll let you know that right now. That's a game for you. I don't want to tell you that. I just, I, I, it was my spirit to my soul. Um, what? Pocket Card Jockey. Take cards to create a sequence of numbers and build up power during a race. What? Check the positions of other horses, spend power to move around the course, and grab special cards to gain the upper hoof. What? Win events to get new horses, then breed them to raise the next generation of ideal steeds. You can even race online against other players. It's off to the races. In Baby, was this a DS game? Right was, it, was that originally a DS game? Today. Oh. That had to be a DS game. Okay. Fuck. Oh, no, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just. Moon, moon, yeah, hey, moon, man. Um, cool, whatever. March 7th, go next, next, next. Tales of Kenzora. The fuck? I'm sorry, is this a Demon Slayer board game? It's a Demon Slayer Mario Party! Hey kids, you love Mario Party? And do you love Demon Slayer, America's favorite anime series? Well, are you in luck? <laughs> Aren't you? Bitch, is that another card game? No, it's just... What is, what is going on? Hi. That's a cool art style for Indy. 
wraps up this Nintendo Direct <laughs> Partner Showcase. But before we go, we have two more announcements to share. First, oh, yeah. let's take a look at this. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Rare? Oh! Rare what? Are y'all can is the rare game from the Where the fuck am I? What day is it? Just rare games in general. Yeah, um, so are we, are, are rare games coming back? Listen. <laughs> Listen. There are certain rare games that... Please take a look. Maybe? DK. How the fuck is this Dave the Diver? Hell Diver? Biz Bobman? The Infinite Craft got Evangelion. Never seen it, decided to try it the youngest. Anyway, got Rei Shinji Hideko Ano. So got Evangelion 3.0. Endless Ocean. Underwater world is yours to explore in an all new endless ocean game. Welcome to the Veiled Sea, a location known to very few people. The fuck? This unexplored region changes what the fuck? with you. Hi, Kelsey! Offer um, what the to fuck? Discover. To 30 players yes, 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 yes. yes. Into the I'm, together. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm so confused. What the? And exchange a friendly greeting while freely exploring the vast ocean. Uh, <laughs> Multiplayer subnautica? There are over oh. 500 different species of marine life to encounter. Some of them are creatures thought to be extinct, and others may be mythical. What will you find on your undersea journey? Endless Ocean Luminous launches on the Nintendo Switch system May 2nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Is that the EO everyone's talking about? <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to exploring the vast ocean on Nintendo Bitch, Switch. Bitch, what? That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. There were some cool games in there. There was some questionable games in there. And then there was that last game that they made the closer. I don't know how I feel about that game as a closer. Unless, like, is there, like, a big community for that game that I don't know about? Like, that seems like a weird game to be like, here's our closing presentation. Like, if anything, the Epic, Epic Mickey could have been the closing presentation, and I think that got, like, the most hype. Especially considering it has the trailer right there that has already 37,000 views, and it was uploaded an hour ago. I think, I think people, I think, that, I don't think they knew. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think people knew. They were like, yeah, that's. Yeah, compared to the Penny's Breakaway one that also dropped a trailer, I'm guessing, an hour ago. 56 minutes ago, 5.8k. As opposed to, again, 37.7. So, weird choices. Choices are made. But you want to know what else was another choice that was made? Hold on, let me see if I can fucking pull this up. Hold on, where is it? Hold on. 
on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? All right. So we just saw the Nintendo Direct that was shown to Nintendo of America, right? Um, so my I woke up and I was in bed, so I didn't watch this presentation at all, but I was awake when it was airing. My friend sends me a text and it was of this tweet. And that straight up says right there, um, Mother 3 is coming to Nintendo Switch in Japan. In Japan on the Nintendo Direct, which I have questions. <laughs> um, I I need to know if that's really a fucking thing. Because <laughs> if they really said, oh yeah, here you go. Mother 3 is going to also be released on the Switch. But only if you live in Japan. That is a fucking bonkers. No need to worry, Ash. You are working. Who the fuck is calling me? Oh. Come on. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> Hello, new. Um, you. It's right here. It's right here on the Switch. Why? Why didn't they announce it in American localization? Why are they not dubbing it? This. Are they afraid the kids are gonna be still depressed? <laughs> Like, this is the one thing every fan has been asking for, pleading for, crying for. This is the one game everyone's been asking for, and they said, yeah, here you go, in Japan. Japan only. If you don't live in Japan, go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, ain't no way. There has to be, like, some kind of, like, thing they're holding on to. And it's going to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to announce it, like, later. What the fuck is that? Hold on. All right, so there's the direct. There's the endless ocean. I guess the... Were there other games they announced in the Jap Japanese version, but wasn't shown in America? <laughs> Calm down, it's okay, mother will be free. Will it? <laughs> also, what's... What? Oh, but wait a sec, there's... There, there are other games here that weren't even shown. Wait, what? Is that a... Rhythm game? Was that was that a Miku rhythm game on the Switch? First of all, Shin Chan, which I guess I can see why this is only in Japan because Shin Chan is a Shin Chan is a huge phenomenon in Japan. Like Japan still loves Shin Chan. Oh, it's exercising rhythm. Excuse, Dragon, Dra excuse me? Hey, uh, Dragon Quest 10. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, 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 they showed this. They showed this in the American one. They showed this game. And it just ends. 
Hello? No, 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 no. Hello? So not only, there's a Shin Chan game that releases tomorrow in Japan, aka, it's actually today in Japan being released. They also have the Hatsune Miku workout rhythm game. And then Dragon Quest 10, I think is what they said? Hi. Sorry, I kind of got drowned out by me. I'm not gonna lie. I heard it. Um. I thought it was just Mother 3. But there were other games that legitimately just did not get announced over here. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, you can go, you can help me by going to, um, it's going to be like a couple, like, hour drive for you, but, like, I think Japan is landlocked. You can, uh, just start to drive to Japan and, um, get there about, like, three, four days, and then ask them, why the fuck? <laughs> oh, so that was a, that was a, a full assumption. I don't know how long of a drive it would take for me to get from where you are to, 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 to Japan by driving. I'm going to Japan in August. Come here. So you can deliver my message, right? <laughs> you will take what you make. Yes. And we can, we can, like, plan it. You're going to go to Nintendo HQ in, in Japan, and we're going to go to Nintendo HQ in America at the same time to bombard them. And be like, what the fuck, Dan? Step the fuck up. <laughs> also, I don't know what the fuck this game is. It's scaring me. It's reminding me of, um... <laughs> is it Tomodachi? Not Tomodachi Life. What's that game called? It was on the DS. It reminds me of that game. So yeah, I, I love that they do have like all the comments turned off. Like, yeah, why? Turn them on. Is it Metopia? Maybe it's Metopia. I can't remember what game it is. But the, the, that last scene right here, when the, the fight happened, that reminds me of the DS game. That, like, it was like, oh, if you have Street Pass, you can, like, get other people's knees on your DS, and they can help you fight. Like, okay. That's, like, if other people have DSs around you. Like, say you live in the middle of the fucking forest. You ain't gonna run into nobody. Yeah, Metopia is the me-based RPG. Okay, then it's Metopia. The one which one was Tomodachi Life. Oh, not to put that. The other one, the one that everyone's been asking for for a while. It wasn't. It wasn't Metopia. What's Metopia? No, it wasn't Metopia. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need Nintendo to explain themselves to me. I'm gonna need Nintendo to explain themselves to me because. Also, fuck this. I got so hyped when I first frame. I was like, ooh, new, like new anime RPG with a girl with a sword. Cool. And then immediately sort of on. Never. <laughs> Wait, oh my, there's other games in this one too. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you said something that I can't read. <laughs> Anime.
Keanu Reeves asked a guy in, in, in 2077, what makes you a criminal? The dude says, I don't know. Keanu Reeves replies, getting cock. Yeah? Yeah, Keanu? That, that's what you criminal? Getting that good... Anywho, uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Toodles! Several bad puns later. Alright, in the special content, we're actually gonna be watching the, um, Pokemon present as well. In the same little video. So, why don't we dive in? Hopefully it's not too fucking loud. Okay, I was confused. I was like, what? Is that spelling something that I should know? Yeah, I think it's supposed to spell Pokemon Presents, but they were like jumbled? Well, unless that was a hint and I just missed it. Hello everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27, is Pokemon Day. Yes. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan. Our adventures with Pokemon, which started with the simple fun of collecting, trading, and battling from the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games. Did I know this? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Life, I knew this. And sleeping. We'll keep challenging ourselves to create new ways to enjoy Pokemon, and we hope you'll continue your adventures with us. Also, I love the little Spiritito plush in the background. I, I don't remember what store I was at, but I saw a bunch of Pokemon plushes, and there was no Spiritito. I think I saw... Hello, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Actually, did I see anyone from Scarlet and Violet? I, has their adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet I saw, like, Sword and Shield starters. I don't think I saw any Scarlet and Violet ones. planned a series of Terra Raid battle events. Where you'll be able to face off against a mighty Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. The first of these a dragon, Charizard, a steel Blastoise, and an Earth Bla Venusaur. Today, I'd also like to share Why the steel Venus? No, steel Blastoise. Please have a look at this. Wait, what? Like the dragon Charizard, of course. This is what everyone's always thought. I guess steel because of the steel cannon. Steel. Oh. Right, this is still a thing. I've been seeing ads for this and a collaboration event with Pokemon Go is on its way. What's that mean? A collaboration with the anime? It's it's collaborating with itself? Pikachu wearing Caps Hat is making its debut. It even knows an attack new to Pokemon Go, Volt Tackle. Wait, Volt Tackle was in Pokemon Go? Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Cerulege are coming too. And Liko and Roy will be dropping in when you snap a pick and go snapshot. So set out on an adventure with your new friends. I feel like I should one day watch the new anime. I haven't actually watched it yet. I don't know what the story is like in there. Sweet! Sorry, I don't know where I came from. What the fuck is this? Raikou? Raikou? Raikou. Raikou. I'm sorry, you, you just said this Pokemon sleep. And then you're gonna show... This super extra... Extra dextra... Legendary just... Sleeping? What even is this app? Like, from my understanding, you legitimately have it just on while you sleep? And like, you just kind of like, gain stuff, but like, is that not gonna kill your phone? Master's X. Or Master Sex. Now, well, you ask. I never give up. We're just getting started. We're right, the silver. greatest in the world. You're the greatest and strongest what the? partner I could what? ask for. What? Fight. What? Whoa, 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 First of all, you can't just have Silver being all Mr. Hoity Toity. You're the greatest I can ever ask. What, what, what? First of all, what? Second of all, what? I got it. Uh, I...
Yeah? Okay. I watched a YouTuber talk about Pokemon Cafe Remix, and like, apparently it's like a pain and a half. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'll ever play it. Also, hi Pokemon Unite, I'm so glad that you're still getting to play. This is the closest I've gotten to playing League of Legends games, and I enjoyed it for the bit I played of it. I was also a little confused for the bit I played of it, but you know, when aren't I confused in games? Oh. Oh wait, playable? Right on? I thought it was gonna be like the legendary in the middle. Oh. Oh. Stop it. Okay. Is it hey you Pikachu? Moving on, please have a look at this video. Come at it. Got a pack. Oh, is this for? No. Okay, I thought it was for fucking. Uh... Home? What that's called now? Yeah, Pokemon Home. Cause well, I know you can have it on your phone. No, it's just a digital. Pokey pack cards. And they tell you the rarity of each one. <laughs> Excuse me. Not that. Not that in the middle of the date. Sorry, assume date. What? Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Oh, oh my god! Oh, that's cute. This reminds me how, like, oh! Okay! I'm gonna say that uh, that previous scene reminded me of how like there are certain cards that all like make a story that when you put them together, but then they, they immediately abruptly cut it and just gave me a fucking heart attack just then. I'm still waking up here, people. Oh well, yeah, this, that is this year. What you just saw was the world's first look at Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. This game lets you easily collect Pokemon cards, which players all over the world have enjoyed since they debuted in 1996, but mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. digital format. Mm -hmm. The Pokemon Company is developing this game as a free party collaboration with Creatures Inc., the creators of the Pokemon trading card game, and DNA, our partners in the development of Pokemon Masters EX. To mark the launch of this title, here's a message from Mr. Yuji Kitano, President and CEO of Creatures. Mr. Kitano, take it away. Hello, everyone. I'm Mr. Kitano from Creatures Inc. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd I... like to start by thanking everyone for enjoying the Pokemon trading card game. With Not Pokemon they made a whole segment for the TCG. Pocket, we hope to bring you all a new way to enjoy the Pokemon trading card game, so we are hard at work developing digital cards. I mean, from what it looked like, it looked when like those physical cards, mainly just... strive to please by taking great care with our paper quality, colors, and printing process. Okay, yeah, I guess. I uh, say, for the most part, it seems like the cards in the mobile one is just gonna be the... To express that care in the physical cards put back into a digital format. Such as using the characteristics of the screen to show off brilliant colors and stylish effects. But yeah, no, I get that part. One way we're accomplishing this is with immersive cards, which give players the experience of leaping into the world of the card illustration. What's more, we've developed new streamlined game rules based on our existing battle system, so you can enjoy a quick battle during the free moments in your day. Quick So no more needing energy stuff is that I'm getting? Our three companies are all working oh, hard to deliver a fun experience for those of you who already enjoy the Pokemon trading card game. 
as well as those who've never played before. We hope you look forward to the results of our latest efforts in the world of the Pokemon trading card game, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Xeno. We plan to launch Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket within 2024. I feel like it, I feel like they said it before, but for some reason, oh, my brain was like, oh, 2024, not five. Presentation with one final video for you all. Even though Thank you it's supposed in. to be everything, and this is supposed to be all games coming out this year, like all these things will come out this year, which is why everyone's been thinking it's gonna be a remake. Let's see, all right, what? Hold on. S L E Y U E. Question mark? I, I I'm still bad at reading unknown. Um, I thought it said see you, but that didn't say see you. I'm not even pause and go back because I'm not watching it live. I I legit woke up and missed it. Um, but urban redevelopmental plan. A vision of beautiful clothes between people and Pokemon. What's going on? Is this, a, is this Detective Pikachu? If this is Detective Pikachu, you better not. I better not be a closer. But I'm getting Pokemon. Uh, no, wait, no, it's. Furfrail? Tratini, Gyarados, Hills, Hippado. Okay, wait, so. Oh, wait! Oh, is this. Kalos? Wait, what? What do you mean by that? What about Kalos? Oh, that's Lumio City, but like, redevelopmental plan for Lumio City? So, we're... Pokemon Legends? Pokemon Legends? Is it? Alpha? Or, I don't know what symbol means. Releasing 2025. See? Hold on! See, I knew it. I was gonna say, they said everything was supposed to be this year, but that's the 2025. But also, go back and explain that. Megas, okay. No, because, like, what do you mean? What, is, what does this mean? Come on. So it's... They do, it's a Legends game, and Luigi Legends games means it's in the past. But then, like... This seems, this seems obviously very futuristic in design alone. There's no way this is... Like, if it's a Legend Z game, I thought it would be more based on, like, you know, fucking Mr. Big Old Tall Man and his little floette. But this... Unless, is that what it looked like? But no, that was a, it was a war back then. That was the whole point of that game, wasn't it? Like there, a war took place. There's no, this is not a war torn area. I have so much more questions. So first of all, again, this is re this is released in twenty twenty five, and they it already done this said they already done this say that they're going to be like I mean, everything's going to be this year, but that's next year probably like same time that Legends Arceus came out, which is also confusing because we got Legend Arceus right after we got Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl whatever kind of like a counterbalance to the Bad Sentinel remakes, as the fans would put it. 
but this isn't a like a counter to anything. It's Z. The one game everyone was always confused that we never got. Because everyone was like, oh yeah, Kalos was literally the one generation where we did, never got a third game. It was X, Y, and then we moved on. We just moved on. Like, we have Black, White, Black, and White 2. And then X, Y, move on. Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon. So now they're going back and finally just doing Z. But if we're doing Z in the sense that, like, Huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? Am I crazy? Let, if anyone has theories, let me know, please. Because I am confused, on. I am confused, on. <laughs> Until next. And like I said before, if you want to follow me live on Twitch, you can go to the description below and click on that link. Or you can subscribe to this channel and see the next VOD upload. Otherwise, here are the rest of my credentials. You can find me on Twitter, find my other YouTube channel. And until next time, ciao for now.